All right, hello everyone, and this is Miguel Nine Three Nine Eight. For today's video, we're gonna do a pretty easy and quick video tutorial video. For today's tutorial video, we're gonna do texture modding for the Smash 3DS. This is literally the easiest thing you're gonna do. And if you think that mod importing is complex because I haven't updated my guide for it, sorry about that. It's been too long that I haven't updated for so long. But it's really that not hard, honestly. But anyways, uh, if you think the mod importing is really that complex, there's texture modding. You can always do texture mods, whatever you want. So without further ado, let's get started. But let's start with the requirement. So requirement, you need Ohana 3DS Rebirth, which I already searched it up. And then you can literally find it in the first link. So you should go to the first link. And then you scroll down to get the where can I get this tool section which leads you to the GBA temp thread which leads you to the download uh, which is right there compiled build see this is where you're gonna get the Ohana build I'm not gonna do that because I already have it so uh, another thing is you need any photo editing tool you can use paint.net right here or you can use Photoshop if I if you have one but I highly you know recommend you guys to use Photoshop it's really that best it's better than paint.net uh, honestly thirdly you need the smash 3ds dump so if you haven't watched my video on how to dump smash 3ds um, you can check it out in the description below so without further ado let's get started with the video so let's start by open your Ohana 3ds cool whatever now what you're gonna do next is go to your dump which you can be found on depending where you dump your game so not only you can do character texture mods but you can also do stage texture mods UI texture mods and custom CSP or the character selection portraits you can do that as well so if you want to do character modding you can go to model you can go to fighter and then there are all the fighters, 67 of them, including the me uh, fighting me teams, the final smashes, and me fighters. So now let's start with let's say Mario. We're gonna start doing Mario. And then there are two ver there are two files for this. There's the C00 and the H00. C00 are basically the low poly model, which basically use in game most of the time. Uh, when you're starting to play in game but however H00 on the other hand this is you can only see those in high po uh, in pause screens single player modes training room or that there are difference between the high poly and low poly which I'm showing you right now on Ohana 3DS now as you can see with the poly count ignore everything what happened to the skin because you won't gonna see what it looks like until you check in game if you look at the triangles it says 6871 but if we go to c01 and go to normal mbm it says 2861 that's literally 4000 uh, polygons dropped so there are difference between the two and with the difference they also have different texture sizes so this is the c00 texture size uh, texture and then here's the h00 texture see they're really big difference now you may wondering how can I how can you check if the, uh, the right textures or not well it depends on you if you want to check textures using uh, 3d programming tools you can use blender and then import the textures onto the model to check what's going on or you could just um, you could just actually load up the mod in uh, on the 3ds and then check uh, the model I've done that before for a long time by the way it's really that stressful so we're gonna start doing it all right so first you have to drag normal MBM click on the texture tab you'll see there's the button called export now we're gonna make a folder uh, right here in the right here let's call it mail texture let's copy this let's export the H0, uh, the low poly texture right over here and also the short disclaimer you have to separate the the files too so if you want to have a high uh, high poly texture only you need to create the 
another folder for it because if you're gonna export in the same folders there are some textures that overlaps uh, like Mario Ref, Mario Shadow and Mario SPC Low so be careful alright now we're going to drag uh, H01 oops I'm gonna export H01 textures and then boom we got ourselves a Mario texture. Now the next thing we're gonna do is drag and drop the textures. And here's our Mario texture. And if you want to drag the high power texture, sure. You can drag it in the new tab. But for those paint.net users, if you want to load up textures, you just simply drag the texture, open it, open this image, and then drag the high power texture too. And then there you have it, both textures. Now you can clearly see the difference between the two, right? Now what you're gonna do you don't start doing texture modding with c00 no you're gonna start doing texture modding on h00 or the high poly textures because if we're gonna copy this and paste this on the c00 texture scale it down it's literally the same uh, other than compression you know difference but it's literally the same. So the textures are literally the same. It's basically a rescale size um, H00 for the C00 textures. So what you're gonna do next if you want to do texture modding, we're gonna start doing texture modding. So it depends if you want to do, uh, it depends on what ways or forms you want to do with your texture mods. Let's say uh, you want to have Mario's um, let's say you want to have Mario's um, overalls turn from red to from red to green or maybe like that something like that you have to select only the red parts and once it's done you can just use the adjustment uh, we can just use the hue saturation we could change whatever color we want so if we want blue we got blue if we want green you got green if you want yellow there it is if you want cyan i don't know why people want cyan but there it is so this is literally how you're gonna do texture modding for you know for modding in general <laughs> if you want to change colors you just have to use the hue saturation always never ever use bucket tools because there are some people in the other uh there was an there was that one modder who actually use literally the bucket tool in paint.net to paint the entire thing up no that's not how you call you're removing the details that's not how you do it but sad to say that that guy got banned for you know not following or listening to the moderator so whatever you do never use the magic wand tool poof 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 never use like this never do this and that and then just simply drop the bucket tool around it no you're removing all the din the, all the all the details of it never use the bucket tool so what you're gonna for those paint.net users who just want to do mo uh, texture modding and no choice uh, have no option to do so, uh, some hue saturation you can actually get the hue saturation by going to adjustments and there it is hue saturation if you want let's say like again if you want to have it blue there it is you got blue now once you're done uh, saving your textures by the way uh, we're gonna save it up I'm not gonna save it in paint.net so we're gonna save this texture um, save it and then what we're gonna do is copy uh, select all copy it and then paste it right here now you get what I'm trying to do, right? Now I'm going to rescale it. Bam! Now you got uh, an edited texture for C00. It's not that hard, right? It's really that simple. And then all you have to do is just save it. And we got ourselves the Mario texture right here and there. And we're good to go. Not yet. Because we're gonna do... Uh, we're gonna do... Um replacing the textures now that we have the textures we're gonna start replacing the textures now here we are here's our mario 
Now, when you're gonna do model importing, uh, when you're gonna do texture modding or modding in general, whatever you do, never modify your dump. This is your dump. This is your backup. If you're gonna get rid of, let's say this, and then transfer it right here, don't do that. You're never gonna get the same thing again. So what you're gonna do is just copy the normal BCH. This is by the way in C00, so it's fine. And I made a copy of it. So what we're gonna do now is go to Tools, go to BCH Texture Replacer, go to File, go to Open, and then locate your normal BCH. And here's Mario's textures right here and there, and here's Mario's body. And what you're gonna do, we have to click Replace, and then click this texture and there you have it here's Mario's texture and then go to file and click save same goes to hype uh, to the high poly texture but don't use the same normal BCH you need to use the other normal BCH to load it up and then you're good to go so I don't have the 3ds for now but I'm gonna use Citra as an example of a 3ds so now what you're gonna do you put your mods in salty SD smash go create a folder called fighter I mean, no model and then fighter and then Mario. You create a new folder and name it Mario and then name it body and then create a folder called C00 and H00. Oops. And what you have to do, you have to put uh, norm the normal BCH onto, Mar onto this folder. Now let's open Citra QT. We're gonna start booting up um, Smash 3DS on the emulator as an example since my 3DS is not working for now. So you just boot up your Smash 3DS on your 3DS and then it'll start um, you know, booting up. Alright so now here's our Mario. We're gonna select C00 or the default uh, by the way. And of course, I want to play it as level 9 CPU. <laughs> Go on Omega, and we're gonna start testing the mod uh, art, the mod that we created together. And then there you have it. Here's some um, blue sleeves Mario. The anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you do enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about model importing or our other Smash 3DS modding stuff, feel free to visit the Discord server in the description below. So without further ado, that's all for today. Thank you and goodbye. Mario!